Hi, my name's Emily, and today we're going to be looking at liquids, and in particular their properties and what happens when they boil. Now first of all, we're going to give you a bit of background information on different types of matter. And to do so, we're going to use these incredibly versatile coloured boards. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with a solid. Now the particles in a solid are very close together, and they barely move. This is what gives a solid a fixed shape. However, if we add heat to the solid, this gives the particles energy, and they start to vibrate. They can even vibrate so much that they break apart. And we say that this solid has liquefied and become a liquid. Now the particles in a liquid are still very loosely bound to the bond like that this string is representing. So they're still together, but they can move about freely, as you can see. And if we add in even more heat, we give them even more energy, and eventually they can break apart, and they become what's called a gas. And in a gas, the particles are free to move about wherever they want, like this. Okay, so there's actually lots of places where you can see this happening in your own home. For example, if you were to leave ice cream out on the surface on a hot day, it would melt. And if you were to boil water in the kettle, it would boil and turn into a gas. So it happens a lot in the, in the home. And the thing to remember is that different liquids have different boiling points. You probably already know the boiling point of water. It's 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This is really hot, which is why you should be very, very careful if you're ever dealing with boiling water. But some of the liquids don't have as high a boiling point, and this means that you need less heat or less energy to break the bonds between the molecules. So, for example, we have this cool little gadget here from ChinaCheck.com, which contains ethanol. And ethanol has such a low boiling point that I can actually boil it in my hand. Watch. Isn't that incredible? The heat from my hands gives the particles enough energy to overcome their bonds and boil. Now I know what the more observant ones in luxury are thinking. Why, if the liquid is boiling and turning into a gas, does the amount of liquid in the container stay the same? Well that's a very good question. And the answer is to do with the reverse of the process that we were talking about before. When the gas starts to cool down, the energy is taken away from it and the, the molecules get closer together again. The bonds between them can reform, and the gas condenses and turns back into a liquid. If a liquid does the same and turns back into a solid, we say that it's solidified. Well, that's all we have time for, I'm afraid. So until next time, remember, science is fun. Mm -hmm.